Hello, I'm Captain Mediocrity, your favourite bearded bastard, and in a couple of days it is Survivor Series 2014, so let's run down that card. So, the pre-show, we've got Wade Barrett returning to do probably Bad News Barrett and not actually wrestling because he's still injured. We've got Paul Heyman on the panel, which will be interesting because it's Paul Heyman. And we also have Fandango returning against an opponent they've not named, but he's promised a new outlook or attitude or whatever. And he's got Rosa Mendez with him. So we'll see who he faces. I'm hoping it's Disco Inferno. Untapped potential there. WWE Divas title match. AJ Lee versus Nikki Bella. Pretty simple, I think it's going to be. And I think Bree's going to screw Nikki with finish. And they'll do their little program at TLC. Four corner tag team match for the tag team titles. The champions, the Dust Brothers, versus Los Matadores, versus the Uzos, versus Miz and Mizdal. The, the Mizdal stick should have gotten old by now, but it is still really funny. And the Usos and Los Matadores are always really entertaining, and the Dust Brothers are just always, always entertaining, entertaining. Which makes it better than just entertaining. Whatever. But this match is going to be great. Probably the match of the night, I would reckon. Because you've got four great tag teams. And it's a shame that the division doesn't really mean more. Because this title is lame. The title doesn't really mean anything at this point. But the match will be great. <laughs> Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose has so far been a bit of a disappointment. I'm not really getting into the uh, Bray Wyatt singles just on his own shtick. His... Speeches are just insane, and they were insane before, but in a good way. But now they're just insanely long and boring. And Dean Ambrose, he's been funny. The, the recording himself on the phone of him saying coming out and attacking Bray Wyatt that was funny. I loved that. But this match doesn't really mean anything. There's no stakes to it. It's just Bray felt bored and wanted to attack someone, and he chose Dean Ambrose. That's it. This is pretty much just delaying the inevitable Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins match. Traditional Survivor Series match with the Divas. Alicia Fox, Emma, Naomi and Natalia versus Paige, Cameron, Layla and Summer Rae. Last year, the Divas Survivor Series match was probably the worst match I've ever seen involving Divas. It was terrible, it was all over the place. The Diva cast for this one is much stronger with a fair, at least decent, with the exception of maybe Naomi or Cameron I get mixed up, whatever. Even like Alicia Fox has come a long way since the days when she used to try and kill people. So I have high hopes for this match. Well, high hopes for a Divas match. Anyway, but I don't really know a winner. I can't pick one. Neither of the teams have anyone that's actually doing anything at the moment except Total Divas. So I guess Paige, Cameron, Dale and Summer Rae will win it for me. That's my uh, prediction on that one. Traditional Survivor Series matchup for the main event, we've got Team Cena versus Team Authority. If Team Authority loses, they are out of power. If Team Cena loses, they are all fired. Which basically ruins this match because now we know that Team Cena are going to win. I don't really have much else to say apart from this. Up to a week ago, this feud was great. But now, that stipulation, John Cena's promo on Raw, the Eric Rowan inexplicably joining Team Cena for no reason... It's kind of made it look entirely pointless. Like, why would I watch this when I can just get the results? And it means the same. They should know better than this. It's easy. Just have Team of Forty Losers, they'll no longer be in power, have the interest on who's going to be in power afterwards. And then you can have John Cena come out and, like, you can do a joking promo about like who's going to join and he's like, oh, it could be the Red Rooster or Mick Foley or Stone Cold Steve Austin or anyone except Triple H and Stephanie. And it would have been better than what they've done. Even that's not great. That was terribly said, whatever. But, as a whole, John Cena as a whole. Final 
final thoughts on this pay per view. I wouldn't pay for it, and I won't. I will watch it on the internet for free, and seeing as I live in the UK, I won't be watching it for free on the network, I'll be watching it free elsewhere. The build up for these matches has been bad, and overall, I think the quality of the performers will save a lot of these matches. Like, I don't like the Dean Ambrose Bray Wyatt story, but I think they're two great performers who will really turn it up. And I can only really see Dean Ambrose winning that match because I can't see why you'd have Bray Wyatt win except by screwing us. Um, AJ Lee versus Nikki Bella, I go with AJ Lee. The tag team match, they're either going to keep him on the Dust Brothers or give it to Miz and Mizdow and then have Miz and Mizdow work a program together. As I said, I can't pick a winner for the Divas traditional Survivor Series match. I just randomly page his team. And the main event, it's going to be Team Cena because otherwise, stupid. Uh, oh, Fandango for whoever he's facing. So yeah, disappointing into the year. I don't see TLC being much better, to be honest, because it'll be, have a TLC match. Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose to end the year finally, maybe? It won't happen. Anyway, enjoy. Or not. Your choice. Hey, look!